everyone, Linda here. Um, Mel from Hearts1217 asked how you download um, digital images, how, how people do that on their Macs. So I thought I would try doing a video on that. Okay, so last night I bought an image from Heather Ellis. She's from uh, the UK and I love her images. They're the pure innocent images. So I, this is the email from her with the image. So I'm just going to click on save the image and then um, save to my computer. So now it's on my computer and I'm just going to minimize all this other stuff. Okay, so this is this is a uh, pages is the program that I have, and these are other images that I've bought from her. So I like to keep them all in the same place. So I have that open. I'm just going to minimize these other things. So now what I have to do with this is the one that's saved to my computer. So I have to save it to my desktop. I go up here to file, export, and I want to export it to my desktop. It's been a while since I did this. So here's desktop. Right. And then save. And then it shows up over here. This is it right here. Okay. So let me do that again. So um, first I download it from the website. And then it, you know, it comes in in my downloads. Then I go to here and put export and then when you click on export this comes up and you want to change where from download you want to change it to your desktop which is right here okay all right and my page here that I store are my Heather Ellis digital stamps on so this page is full so I'm just going to add so now I have an extra page and her name's going to be at the top of each one so then I just go over here to um, where I have it on my desktop and I drag it over here and there I have it. Now in order to move the image around or to reshape the image you have to grab these little squares in the corner and you can make it smaller or you can make it larger. It also shows the width and height of the image so if you want the image to be like one by one or something like that you can make it that big so you can make it whatever size you want to fit like your die cuts and stuff which is really fun so you grab that but sometimes when you download an image you it's like you can't move it anywhere and you're like what is going on why can't I move that image we have to go up here to inspector right here and then the inspector pops up and, and you can move this inspector around you just grab this bar and move it wherever you want it but you have to make sure that this floating is clipped because if you put this one and then you try to click on your image like this you see you can't she'll move but she'll keep going back to the same place so you have to make sure that floating is clicked and you know you get to this part object placement by going through the third one so you can just kind of look at these you know like this is size of paper this is layout columns and then this one is object placement and that's where you find this floating thing so that you can move your object around okay so I'm just going to close my inspector out now and so I can move her anywhere I want by clicking on these little black squares, I can make her, i got to click on her to get them. I can make her any size I want, and I can see the size of my image. If you have a hard time getting those, just click on the image, and then you can find them. And then you just hold on there, and you can see the size of the image, all right? So I hope this helps. I hope this helps Mel and anybody else that has a Mac. I love my Mac. I have a MacBook Air. So if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.